Hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah V. I am the owner of VTS Lashes. And if you're new here, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. If this is the second video you're watching of me, welcome back. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about how I customize my boxes. So these are my old boxes and these are my new boxes. So I'm gonna be talking about the process I go through with my vendor, designing my boxes, and even probably including in there some mistakes that I made that you should avoid. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so the first thing that I do before I even start to customize my boxes is I'll start doing a little bit of brainstorming in the beginning. I'll think about why do I want these boxes uh, to be made? Um, what I wanna do, like how am I gonna brand it, different things like that how I want it to look, um, when do I need it for. So I'll plan those things ahead of time before I hit up my vendor and ask them about, you know, customizing new boxes for me. So the first step, because that's like a pre-step. So the first step is to contact your vendor, let them know that you want to customize boxes. When you talk to your vendor, he's going to ask you uh, how many boxes you want to order. So you can either order, um, like for me, for my vendor specifically, I can either order 100, 200, 200, 300, like that. Like the, the minimum order quantity though is mostly like 100, 100 boxes. At, you have to order at least 100 boxes before they can customize them and create them. I'll go ahead and place my order. Okay, so then the second step is he'll put me through the, with the designer, right? The designer contacts me through WhatsApp and they'll ask me, how do I want the box to look? Like design, the front, the back, um, and all of that. So for this box specifically, I just went online and I went and Googled like different boxes because this was my first box. I'm like, I wanna do different boxes and I just wanna have my logo on it. So I told, I found this exact box online and then I just made some small adjustments because the original box, that inspired this one had like um <clears throat> had like rose gold and then it had like I think well, white in the in the on the inside of the box. So I just told them that I wanted my logo on the front, which you have to then send them like a um I think it's AI cop like a AI uh, format of your logo or whatever format they ask for, um, and then. They'll be able to customize they'll be able to customize it with the logo right so i told them that i want the logo i told them that i wanted um this is what i wanted it to say and then i told them that i wanted this like marble inside that's how i wanted it to look with the rose gold and it was simple simple box um, and that was just my first box. It was something that I wanted to have my brand name on. And then, you know, um, I, w I didn't really have like a plan to launch and different things like that. I just wanted a custom box. And then I did kind of like a soft launch because I, I had a group of people that I worked with, um, a couple family and friends. And then those are the people that I sold to. And I ended up selling out of the lashes that I got. I think I made like $500 from the original purchases that I made. So yeah we went through the whole process of doing that um and that's basically step number two um and then step number three is you're going to they're going to send you what you originally told them so if you said um this is what you want these are the speculations you want for the box this is what you want on the front the back the inside of the box um the bottom of the tray and the back of the box is this how you want it to look they're going to send it to you and then you're going to be able to adjust it or not for this box it was like the process was like a little bit more in depth because i went to um i didn't really see like the this box online i went to zazzle and i think i'm going to include a picture here and i saw the material that i wanted because if you watch my original video i said that i wanted to change my lash box to match um like the the style name of the lashes because the lashes are from africa so this um 
lash style is named Cairo. Um, and then I wanted it to kind of like, you know, go together. So I went on Zazzle, well not Zazzle specifically, but on the internet and I saw a pattern that was on Zazzle on like one of the products and I was like, okay, I really like that pattern. It's, um, it's, you know, it looks like African cloth. So I'm going to use that for the boxes. So then I went to, I went and got that same pattern, um, in like a, a photo, an image, a JPEG. And I sent that to the designer and the designer came back with the, um, with the first like draft of the box. And I told them, you know, I wanted VCS lashes on the back of it. And I wanted this, um, style. And I, I also, I'll say this. I also looked up, um, tart boxes because those are what inspired me to make these boxes, these, um, cardboard boxes. So I saw that they, how they place their logo, how they place like the different wording on the boxes. And then I thought to myself like, okay, that makes sense. So I'll do this and I'll black out certain areas so that the writing is just not on top of the printing. Um, and then my designer sent me back like the proofs. I said, oh, um, this is, I think, I think one of the things that they did that I didn't want was the font. And at first I didn't realize like, okay, I could change the font, but he was like, um, if you don't like the font, just send me the type of font you want. And then I'll put that into the, the box. So that's what I did. I sent, I looked up, I Googled fonts and then I sent that to him and then he put that on the boxes. Um, and then the last step is to finalize, um, your design. So then you go in and you finalize your design and you say, okay, everything looks good this you can you know send me the box so for me they'll print out a box like they'll make one they'll make a box so they they made this box in this one and they sent them to me and they're like okay this is the box how does you know how does everything look and I saw it online and I'll put the image right here if I still have it I'll just put it in the screen um, and then I was like okay it looks good send that you can go ahead and print so then they went ahead and print and they printed everything out um so that's that's pretty much it after they print it out they send you everything and like i said it takes about three to four weeks um to get the to get everything printed and sent out um, and shipped to you so um one mistake well i'll talk about the mistakes that i made um during the whole customizing boxes and stuff like that that whole process i think you have to really be aware of your time like if you know that you have um a launch date set for december don't start doing your boxes you know in the middle of november you have to really give it time because if you don't like certain things if um the boxes get stuck you know anything can happen so you want to make sure that between designing and then receiving your boxes, you have enough time to grab the boxes and then send and then be able to sell them when you want to sell them. Um, another thing that I did in the beginning with the first box is I didn't really think of a concept. Like when I created my next boxes, I knew that you know I wanted to do this certain type of campaign around the boxes so that I can have like everything go together. Um, and for me, I think that was one of the mistakes I made and getting a second box or rebranding my box made sense for me so that I could be able to kind of like re uh, correct that mistake that I made, um, making sure that the boxes were to my standard, that it was something that, you know, made sense to me, like when it came to my business. Also, another, another thing that I would say is, um, I'm a, well, a mistake that you want to avoid. I didn't really make this mistake because I'm like a night owl. I'm always up um, in the middle of the night. So you want to you want to make sure that you are awake to make sure that you're proofing, you know, everything that needs to be done so that your boxes also get done on time. Because if you don't proof the images that they send you or you're not able to answer quickly enough to make um, changes, with the boxes 
it's gonna take it's gonna take more time. Um, and that, the reason why I say this is because a lot of times when you're talking to um, your vendor or you know the designer in China, they're up at a different time. So majority of my uh, messages would get to me like around uh, like nine, ten, eleven. So I have to make sure I'm up so that I can be like, okay, you know, send this do this, change this or whatever. And sometimes it'll be three or four in the morning. So you just have to make sure that you're on top of all of that so that you can get your design done as quickly as possible. Um, mistake number four that you wanna avoid. You wanna make sure that you're choosing your box with your brand in mind. So make sure you're choosing your brand colors, making sure you're choosing designs that go with your brand and the type of style that you want to um, give to your audience you know the type of message that you want to give to your audience make sure your boxes your design are all in line with that um and make sure you have a logo that you're able to place on the boxes so if you are new and you're just this is your first time creating custom boxes make sure you get your logo and the type of file that you're that's needed for your boxes i think when i first went and hit up the designer they told me if you want to make the boxes, you need to send us over via email a um, the logo, and I didn't have one. So I had to go back to Etsy, create a logo, and then they sent me um, the logo, and then I sent it to the designer. So just make sure those things are in place first before you know placing your order or, um, or making your designs. For these boxes that are cardboard, they want them to be, um, they're like a couple cents per box, but you have to order 500 because why are they going to get out of bed to make a hundred dollars or to or fifty dollars for for boxes they want to make sure that they're printing it's going to be worth their while as well so make sure that you have financially you have the money to support getting custom boxes and then also paying for the lashes because you don't want to just have a bunch of empty boxes sitting around with no lashes um and not to say that once you once you get the boxes if you can order a certain amount of lashes like 100 to 50 lashes you know you budget for that and then you can fill it up as you go you can fill up the other boxes as you go but make sure in the beginning that you prepare you're prepared to buy the lashes and buy custom boxes if not you know do what can you can afford what's within your budget um with these lashes like i said it's a, the the minimum order quantity is smaller so it works out to be something similar, but um, you just get less because it takes more time to create boxes like this than to create boxes like this. So, okay, so I think that's about it. Um, if you have any questions, make sure you leave a comment down below. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I love, um, you know, getting to know you guys and I want to see what more what other content you guys want to see from me. So comment down below. Let me know what you guys are thinking. And let me know also which box you prefer. This box, the white one, or the African print box. And they're both the same lashes in the box. So, And don't forget to go follow me on Instagram at VTS Lashes. Uh, and like I said in my um, previous video, I'm also on Instagram at she is affirmed. That's my personal page.